We now move to Peru, where memories of the disasters caused by the weather phenomenon known as El Nino are a source of great distress as it approaches once more. And yet again, the government seems unprepared. Our correspondent, Rael Mora, explains. The environmental phenomenon called El Nino has previously triggered heavy flooding in Peru, killing hundreds and displacing thousands more. El Nino causes increased rainfall over the Andes as Pacific Sea's temperatures fluctuate. With a new round of El Nino already starting, the government has been taking preventative actions, allocating over a billion dollars. The government is preparing for a complicated scenario. In July of this year, we declare under emergency 14 regions. Based on what happened in 82 and 83, and 97 and 98, and additionally intense rain scenarios, we have those 14 regions under risk. However, the government is being questioned on whether or not the country is prepared to diminish the risks, particularly for those citizens living in dangerous areas in the north of the country, close to rivers or in unstable hills. Analysts claim preventative measures should have started earlier, such as relocating people, creating rain drainage systems, and establishing a coordinated plan with local authorities. The infrastructure projects, or those for protecting infrastructure, should have started last year. That would have been ideal. Right now we are working against time, and if conditions are not right, or if sudden rains come earlier, it would be difficult to finish the project. That is part of the lessons we have learned and we have to live with in the years of 97 and 98. The issue in agreement among the current government and its critics is that the country should have a permanent planning unit, preventative activities, and set budgets for reducing the risk of large disasters in the future. Rael Mora, Telesur, Peru.